Hey everyone, I'm Rachie. Welcome to Rage for the Stars. So, The Last Jedi answers one of the biggest questions that fans have been asking since The Force Awakens came out two years ago. Who are Rey's parents? And as it turns out, her parents are nobodies. They are actual fucking garbage, as it turns out. Through his Force connection with Rey, Kylo Ren found out the truth and gave her the answer that she has been denying for the past 15 years, basically. Her parents traded her for drinking money. Fuck them. He was kind of a dick about it, but it is the truth that Rey needed to hear. That her parents were never going to come back for her. That once she was on her own, she was on her own. She has a shit ton of abandonment issues and she gets attached to people way too damn quickly, but she made it to 19 without her parents. She never needed them. And I think this also really lines up with defying expectations and legacy. A major source of Ben's problems is that he does come from legacy. His father was a war general, his mom was a senator, his uncle defeated Darth Vader, and his grandfather, as Anakin, was one of the most powerful Jedi ever, and his grandfather, as Darth Vader, was, well, Darth Vader. And this caused a lot of problems. Snoke wanted Ben to be just as evil as Darth Vader, and Luke wanted Ben just to be as good as he was. And he had these two sides tearing at him until it came to the point where he just snapped. However, Rey doesn't have that. She doesn't have any expectations. So she's free to decide what her story is going to be. She doesn't have to follow any path that was set by someone long before she even existed. Ray coming from nothing also sends this great message that you don't need to be a legacy in order to be someone amazing. That anyone can have a connection to the Force. That anyone can be a hero. But I... But of course... Kylo Ren's revelation about Rey's parents wasn't enough for some fans. Some people seem to be just absolutely convinced that Kylo Ren was lying to Rey. Even though, one, he's never lied to her before, and two, most of the people who think that Kylo Ren was lying seem to be Rey Skywalker fans. In which case, if she was a Skywalker, why would Kylo Ren lie about that? Because telling Rey that Luke Skywalker her hero was the one who abandoned her, would be a surefire way to make her turn against him. You know, it's just, it's so shitty that these people feel like they're entitled to a legacy. They feel more entitled to Rey's identity than Rey is. And it's just disgusting. And the truth is, Rey isn't going to find her identity through her parents anyways. She was never going to. She took care of herself. Kylo Ren calls her out on this bullshit. She's looking for parental figures in Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. And it's really interesting, during Rey's first Force lesson, she sees this entrance to a cave, and she equates it with the dark side. Luke accuses Rey of following the dark side because it offered something that she wanted, and she tells him, but I didn't see you. Then later, when she dives into that cave, she walks up to the cracked mirror, and she sees the reflections of herself. She asks to see who her parents are, and yet all she gets is her own reflection. She's not going to find herself in looking for her parents. She's not going to find herself in looking for parental figures. She's only going to find herself in her own experiences and beliefs. Rey is an amazing character, regardless of where she comes from. And it's absolutely horrible that her parents just tossed her aside. But if she hadn't grown up as a scavenger, at Nima Outpost, she never would have been in the right place in time for all the events that, to happen that would lead to her being our hero. Her parents traded her away because they only saw her as a burden. But now, she carries the weight of the entire galaxy on her shoulders. But as usual, those are just my thoughts on the subject. I would love to hear what you guys have to say, so go ahead, comment below, let me know what you think, Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more videos, 
follow the Tumblr blog that I'll have linked down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!